The Tragic Tale of Joseph Merrick, The Elephant Man. His once perfect lips swell up. His pink skin thickens and turns a sickly gray hue. A mysterious lump emerges from his forehead. A sack of flesh bubbles from the back of his neck. Both feet grow abnormally large. His right arm grows increasingly deformed and gnarled, while his still normal left arm highlights his transformation into what the world will perceive as a human monstrosity. By 1866, his unusual appearance had begun to present itself, but medically, nobody understood what caused his condition. Even today, his precise condition remains. Mysterious as DNA tests on his hair and bones have been inconclusive. Without medical guidance, his mother came to her own conclusions. Recalling an incident during her pregnancy when she went to a fair, an unruly crowd of people pushed her into an oncoming animal parade. An elephant reared up and she was briefly caught underfoot, frightened for two lives. She told this story to young Joseph, explaining that this incident had caused his deformities and the pain that sprung from them. In addition to his unusual deformities, he also injured his hip as a child and a subsequent infection made him permanently lame, so he used a cane to help himself walk. often offered people with disabilities a way of earning income. Joseph Merrick wrote to local proprietor Sam Tor. After a visit, Tor agreed to take Merrick on tour as a traveling act. He secured him a management team, and in 1884, billed as half a man, half an elephant, he began his freak show career. He toured Leicester, Nottingham, and London. That same year Merrick switched management when Tom Norman, an East London shop owner who displayed human oddities, took him in. With Norman, he was given an iron bed with a curtain for privacy and was displayed in the back of a vacant shop. Upon seeing how Merrick slept sitting, his legs drawn up and used as a headdress Norman realized Merrick wasn't able to sleep lying down. The weight of his enormous head could crush his neck. Norman stood outside, using his natural showmanship to usher people into the shop to see Joseph Merrick. He assured the eager crowds that the Elephant Man was not here to frighten you but to enlighten you. The show was moderately successful. Joseph Merrick set aside his cut of the profits in hopes of buying his own house someday. Stranded in a strange place, Joseph Merrick didn't know what to do. Eventually, he boarded a ship for Harwick in Essex. He then caught a train for London, a broke man with a broken body. He arrived at London's Liverpool station in 1886, exhausted and still homeless, asking strangers for help returning to Leicester. The police saw the crowds gathering around the disheveled man and detained him. One of the only possibly identifying possessions Merrick had was Dr. Treves card. The police called him up, and Treves immediately picked Merrick up, took him to the hospital, and made sure that he was washed and fed. After another examination by Treves, he determined that Merrick now also suffered from a heart condition. He concluded that the 24-year-old likely had only a few years of life left in his deteriorating body. In the hospital basement, two adjacent rooms were specially adapted for him, there was access to the courtyard and no mirrors to remind him of his appearance. Over his last four years spent in the hospital's care, he enjoyed his life more than he ever had before. 